Pacers hosting the Bucks, and the Pacers are 11.5 or 12 point home underdogs. The over under is at 238.5. The Bucks are minus 650 on the money line, and the Pacers are plus 460. The Bucks won the last game they played. The Pacers have lost the last three games that they've played. Now, before you bet on this game, go to Twitter, go to Underdog NBA, and see what players are playing for either one of these games. Then use a site like um, covers.com. Totally free, will allow you to compare. Pretty much every gambling stat there is known to man. It'll also let you know what players may or may not be playing in this game, which is also very helpful. And it'll have all the head-to-head matchups for these teams. Now, head-to-head, the home team is 5-5. Five and five. The road team's won the last three. The Bucks are 9-1 and one against the Pacers in their last 10. The Pacers did win the last game they played against each other. The favorite is 6-4 and four against the spread. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The over has hit in their last four games. The over is 8-2, and two, and the over 238.5 is 7-3. and three. So when these teams play each other, essentially, there's no defense. The last game they played against each other, the Pacers beat the Bucks 139-123 to in Milwaukee. The game before that, the Bucks beat the Pacers 141-131. The game before that, the Bucks beat the Pacers 132-119. And the game before that, they beat them 128-119. to So we've only really had one game in their last four that have been decided by more than what the point spread is here and i understand that now we're getting down to the nitty-gritty in the end of the season so some of these teams are trying to you know reassure their draft position so to speak now in their last handful of games the bucks are seven and three overall they have not covered their last two games and they are four and six against the spread the over-under is 5-5 five and five in their last 10. We have had 243, 235, 260, and then 224 points in their last four games. The Bucks have scored 126, 106, 144, and 130. And three out of their last four games, they've blown out their opponents. Granted, it was Detroit, Utah, and San Antonio, but regardless, it, it still happened. The Pacers have lost their last three. They are four and six in their last ten, and they are three and seven against the spread. They have not covered their last three games. The over is six and four in their last ten. We've had two thirty one, two seventy three, two fifteen, and two thirty two. The Pacers have scored one hundred four, one thirty, ninety five, and one eighteen. I'm gonna take the Bucks with the money line. If Giannis plays in this game, I'll take the Bucks laying the 11, and I'm going to go over. If he doesn't play, then I would take the Pacers with the points. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.